So on a guitar, a double stop is basically any pair of notes that are played together. Uh, most commonly they're fourths because they're dead easy to play when you're playing rock. But uh, they can be any interval, they don't have to be fourths or fifths. Now, when I first started playing these, uh, I thought I could hear much more going on than the guitarist was actually playing. And it wasn't until much later that I discovered that there is. Uh, there's a concept called beat frequencies, which are, are extra notes that are created through the addition of two pitches. Now, uh, if you've ever tuned your guitar using harmonics, you will have used beat frequencies. So for example, that wobble is a beat frequency. And the closer the two pitches get to being in tune, the slower that beat frequency gets. Now, uh, beat frequencies occur between any two notes, they don't, they don't have to be close together and if the notes are a little bit further away then the beat frequency itself becomes another pitch. So for example if I play, uh, what's that? that's D and G just here, and then I play D and A, Hopefully you can hear something going on in the bass, which is uh, sounds like this. Now I'm not playing that, I'm just playing two notes. And that bass line is the beat frequency that's created by these two notes. And the thing, the thing about an electric guitar with distortion is that it really emphasizes these beat frequencies. Now, you get them between any two notes, so if you, if you play in a minor second, you get that wobble, in a major second you get the same as well. And the same with sevenths, you get, you get similar effects if you're playing uh, a seventh, and a unison is, is fine, it, play, it creates the, the fundamental below of the, the same pitch. Um, now, thirds and sixths. Uh, can also be used as well, but there is a problem, there's an inherent problem with our tuning system uh, on the guitar, which will uh, cause some problems if you try and use thirds and sixths. So let me see if I can demonstrate. Uh, so if I play, uh, what's this, this E and G sharp here. There's something going on, but if I if I bend my E string slightly, the, the E note slightly, suddenly they sound in tune, and it's creating a fundamental down there around that E note. So that's that's a, a major third, but I I can't just play the major third. have to bend one of the strings slightly and the same with a minor third as well. So if I play F sharp and A here, I have to bend the A note slightly and that creates a D. So what's going on there is, uh, is, a, is a fundamental uh, with most guitars. Um, we use a scale system called equal temperament uh, and that is a compromise between tuning and being able to play it uh, in pitch across or as close to pitch as possible across all the different keys. Um, and a lot of instruments use this equal temperament tuning but the, the compromise is that you, your instrument has to be slightly out of tune in order to, in order to uh, achieve it. But anyway, there's, uh, it never ceases to amaze me just how much there is going on when you're just playing two notes together. Uh, so there's an awful lot to, to experiment with. I mean, what, what I'd suggest you do is to start playing around with double stops and start to listen for these beat frequencies. 
uh, if you like, if you enjoy composing as well, you could actually start to use that. I know a number of composers do compose and, and deliberately create lines using the beat frequencies as well. So, so it's an a interesting thing to experiment with, something that you could have fun with. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.